but I've drawn some lines on this thing. <clears throat> I'm copying. I know it's kind of a, a tacky stock, but this is one that fits this guy really well. And so I'm copying this same style of cheek piece, which is called a Dunton. I'm copying the same thickness of the grip here and several other things. So I'm, I've drawn some, some lines, some guidelines on this stock. And uh, I'm going to be sawing off just some rough sawing, some stuff that that just I'm just going to get it out of the way. It's I can do this a lot quicker with a bandsaw than I can with a rasp or anything else. The bandsaw is just really fast with this.
Let me just explain a little something here as I go. Basically woodworking is about the three S's. Sizing, shaping, and sanding. Table saws and band saws and chainsaws, they size. They get it down to a workable bite size piece. Shaping, band saws can shape, but rasps and files and really coarse sandpaper and sand blocks and things like that, they do the shaping. After you get done, and this is this is shaped, this is down to the right size, it's the right thickness. Here, the dimensions are here, 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 the thickness of this, the drop of this. So all I've got to do now is take the sand marks out. See those coarse marks? I've used 50 grit paper on a sand block, which is a straight edge. It's a sand belt wrapped around a straight block. And it gets me, it's called fairness in the, in the boat building industry for a hull to be from the front to the back smooth with no bumps and wrinkles and dips and things that creates turbulence. It's called being fair. They use the same terminology in the aircraft industry. There's a thing between the fuselage and the wing called a fairing and it just smooths out that gap, that, that crease. And use light. You want to use light. Light will tell you a lot. It'll tell you if something is makes a smooth transition. You can see how that light goes across from here to here and back as I move that light. And that shape is not bumpy or got dips in it or humps in it. If you just look at something flat straight on, it looks okay. But light will tell you a lot as far as smoothness and fairness. Let me show you the other side. The other side. Granted, it doesn't have cheek piece on it, but you can still, with the light straight above it, shining flat, flat down on it, you don't see any anything too bad. Of course, all I've done now is just a grinder, a sanding disc on a grinder, and a little bit of rasping and draw knife and stuff. But watch what happens when you move the light from the side. See how those ridges and dips become evident as it goes across, as the light shines across, like the setting sun, you can see the, the ridges and the dips. So use your light. No matter what you're doing with woodworking, use your light. I used to know a sheetrock finisher that would always finish his sheetrock according to where the light source was, the windows and the light fixtures. And he would he would run it with the light instead of against the light and his walls always looked beautiful. I used to paint behind him some. And his walls were all they almost didn't need sanding because he, he looked at light source. But, uh, there's no charge for that. Just as an aside, notice how I've got this stock held into my vise. I got a tapered block right here that allows for the taper in this stock. On this side I got a heavy heavy piece of maple because that maple is bridging across this cavity here and where this vice jaw pushes in on that if you don't put a good substantial piece of wood here hard you can you can pop it in the middle and mess up these little little sharp edges right here as you crush this it will dent these you gotta be really really careful and protective of these little flat edges all the way down your barrel channel there. So I put a really good solid strong piece of wood against my vice jaw when I'm messing with anything along that top machined edge. You can cut tapers, you can cut you a tapered piece. I have a whole selection of blocks that have different degrees of tapers on them and just pick one you need because when you go to when you go to sanding and cranking on this thing, you're going to put a lot of pressure down, and it's really got to be there. 